Hello, this is Haku Devine, and today we are going to be reading an article from the back room. It's called Joke Entity XX, or a funny and ambiguous entity name, which could mean virtually anything. So if you like this video, please leave a like on, like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. And this is a backrooms entity that doesn't actually exist, by the way. Entity number XXJ. There's a little thing here. Never holds no meaning, but still holds an important value despite having nothing to do with that value. Habitat. Level XXXJ. I think we'll just go ahead and open that in a new tab. Neat. Description. NCXXJ is a, a super powerful entity which resides on level XXXJ. NCXXJ is incapable of leaving this level. The reason for this will be undisclosed, despite this having a large amount of power. And the XXJ will kill anyone on site, but only under a very strict set of conditions. These conditions will have to do with entertained entity and will never actually be explained. Our report notes will be attached, which will not answer any reasons either. This entity has no look because the author is too lazy to write out an actual description and said will be giving random explanation through footnotes. The explanation, this explanation will also lack, explain the lack of a picture given for the entity. It'll, and it will be very bad, and basically be saying it can't be seen properly. Just, this is just a freaking joke. This section will, will be incredibly bad, however, it must be included. Despite behaviors being described in the description already. And the XXJ will ask you to do something very specific, and if you choose not to do it, it will kill you. If you choose to do it, and the XXJ will nearly almost always find a way to make you do it wrong, and will kill you anyways. The reason behind this is unknown, however, it's likely due to a reason which is incredibly vague. This entity cannot be hurt, despite harm never being attempted to be done. Also, for no reason, this entity behaves in a specific way, and will be reasoned Owen will be angry for no reason at random. Biology. There is no need for this section, as there is no knowledge on the biology of the entity. Naturally, however, we learn something about it, but it will not be disclosed. Interview. Begin log. Time unavailable. This should be logged, but isn't due to reasons which will not be stated. Interviewer. Meg operative. Data expunged. The expunged print is done for unknown reasons, as there is no point in expunging it other than adding mystery. They're just really calling out, out, out like, this and, um... Some other wikis. Interviewee, entity XXJ, a funny and ambiguous entity name which could mean virtually anything. Recording begins with Meg Operative Data Expunge rocking towards entity XXJ. <laughs> um, hello? The entity ignores up. I'm just going to call him off for no reason. He Hello? The ND shows a very violent intensity towards up. Data expunged. I shall now beg you to let me go. And the XSJ a puts of dad for no reason. This contradicts the behavior of Cyrus for the XSJ, but this will not be elaborated on. I threaten you in such a casual tone, you don't take me seriously, then insult you. <gasps> I am deeply offended despite me knowing that you are 
Very powerful and could it kill me easily. Oh yeah, I didn't read this. In a very non insulting way. I will sit in dot for a moment. It is in dot for a moment. No time for avoiding. Then immediately goes very violent for no reason. I am hurt deeply and vocalize it. I should not try to kill you more seriously, even if you make a slightly sarcastic comment. Very well. I now will insult you harshly. I take deep offense to that and start killing you in a horrible way. I act surprised, despite me insulting you deeply. I should now break your microphone in order to not have to elaborate further on what I was saying because the author doesn't feel like writing out a murder. Not the plot convenient. Microphone breaks. For plot convenience. End log. Time available. Do's and don'ts. Using do's and don'ts rather than and do's and don'ts in order to cause controversy over the strange way it is written. Oh, <laughs> it's because the apostrophe is technically in the wrong spot. Oh, I think don'ts should probably have two. Actually, now it's right. Um, do avoid this entity. Get away from it. Don't insult it. Some other random thing which was not elaborated in, on in the article at all. Well, that was joke in the XX. Now let's read about this level, which is probably also a joke. Come on, level. Is it a joke that it's not loading or? Oh, no. Joke level XXX. Survival difficulty, class undetermined. Mysterious properties, unknown information, undocumented entities. Level XXX is a very dangerous level for no ex explained reason. Description. Level XXX is an incident landscape which is unconfirmed to have an end. But no, it's always funny on this one. Despite the fact that this was stated in, within the first part of this sentence. Level XXX has a random type of theme which is common and has relation to the real world. Level XXX also features an unusual amount of something entirely random, which is explanation through a footnote. The footnote itself is short and only partially answers the original question. The lack of clinical tone on present it really shines through oh, and naturally the level is only partially understood because that draws the reader in more. There is a high amount of entities present on this level. And yes, it's completely unknown how they got there and no explanation will be provided. These only include things such as death moths, wretches, and smilers because those are the only entities that people care for anyways. Naturally, you should bring an almond of water when you're visiting this level in order to defend yourself from the entities. Also, there is a completely unique entity to this level called a funny and ambiguous entity name, which could mean virtually anything. This entity does something unique, which will only be vaguely described in this article. We do this to ensure you read both pages. Almond water can be found in high quantities on this level, to the point where it causes major or lower implications. However, we won't go into that and avoid it by making a very... A vague entryway. The entryway isn't actually vague at all in the site, and it still causes a lot of implications. Naturally, almond water also is rather useful to have, even though it is heavily implied before now. Basis, communities, and outposts. A quirky name, a group of people. They are incredibly friendly for no reason. Will trade. The cause of these traits will not be elaborated on and is assumed to be on water despite how common it is on this level.
a quirky yet oddly scary name, are incredibly hostile, have vague connections to the Eye of Argos, which will never be worked off of. We'll attack anyone in sight. This is reiterating the side being mentioned literally two points ago. Entrances. This level is super unique, so no, naturally, it will have a very unique entryway. However, for no reason, it can be, it can also be accessed from level eleven. It'll, there will be no elaboration not to how level eleven is connected to this level, despite them being very different. Exits. This level can only be exited by doing some very specific steps, which are tedious and will likely kill you. However, for lore's sake, you can also no clip into level zero. <laughs> My goodness. So that was. Uh... Joke in the XX. And the level that they live in. If you like that video, please leave a like on the if you like that, please leave a like on the video. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all tomorrow. So until then. Goodbye.